Welcome to <laughs> maybe the first episode of Bobby Hemet Revisited. Or what I learned from Bobby Hemet. That's what we're going to call it. We are going to call it What I Learned from Bobby Hemet. I will make this short. Number one, I live on a solitary path. I am living by myself without family support after college. It was like halas. Number two, that I am a spiritual person. I'm always seeking to learn spiritual things. Not mundane, everyday bullshit out of books. Number, th I'm always thinking deeper than the average person. Number three, in the time that because I have been by myself, I face myself. I can look at myself. I can think about myself. I can be alone without feeling lonely. Because I asked the universe to free me from that. Number four, in the years that I have been out of the U.S., I have had a lot of time. In that time, I learned a lot from YouTube. Again, my path is a spiritual path. So, I will tell you quickly, I learned from... The first person I learned from is Nithyanda, an Indian Swami. I looked at every single video when he first came out when he was young. And I believe we're both the same age. We're nearly the same age. Number two... I learned after him, I found, actually before him, I found Abraham Hicks or The Secret or something like that, some positive thinking thing. Then later I found more about Abraham Hicks and that's why I could, uh, I set my goals to go just explore the world basically. Number three was Eckhart Tolle. I believe I I learned about him through Oprah, I think. I think that's how I learned about him. And then I looked online and just looked at his work and listened to him and his books. And he he is responsible for my awakening on a level one. I understood from him that you can be the observer of your mind and you don't have to follow your mind. But most people are trapped in their mind and uh, they're trapped in the ego and they never look at themselves. They can never be objective about their feelings or themselves. They just follow whatever the ego says. So, it only took an instant. In one instant after hearing what he said, instantly, it's like a, it's like a switch. It's, it is like I flipped a switch in my mind. When I understood what he said and it clicked, instantly I did a flip in my mind about myself and my thinking and I was awake.
in one instant. That's it doesn't take a ton of meditation. All you have to do is understand the psychology of the mind and you have to be on that frequency, really, to understand. And then you're just going to change. Instantly, you're going to change. You will have a new thought that basically negates all the thoughts you've ever had before. So then you become an objective observer of yourself and your mind. And you don't let your mind jump around. Or you... You know that your mind is jumping around, and if you want to be conscious, you stop it. And if you want to be conscious with others, you, you stop them. Because most people are talking and not thinking about anything they're saying. They're talking from complete mindlessness and reactionary thought. And brainwashing and prejudice and anything resistant that that's the ego that's the mind it resists any truth as a matter of fact so anyway in an instant thanks to Eckhart Tolle which I believe his his bloodline is black same with Abraham Hicks this is a black lady her origin, her DNA is black. Eckhart Tolle, his DNA is black. My senses tell me that. For sure, Abraham Hicks is black. There's no doubt about that. She, she's had some little a little plastic surgery, but if you back up to her earlier pictures of her youth and when she was young, this is a black lady. So anyway... Moving on, okay, we got to Eckhart Tolle, we got to Abraham Hicks, saturated myself in Abraham Hicks, understand the universe, okay, understand this magnet, magnetism and your emotions are the, the magnet of your soul. Now, but there was always something that was out of balance with all of these fucking people talking about love. They never, they never addressed the injustice in the world. They're, they always turn a blind eye. Like what they say actually cannot apply to somebody that, a little child that is starving on the motherland in their own indigenous country and getting fed slop by Christian people that are supposed to be helping them, which is only making their stomach more bloated by because they're eating starches, they're not eating anything of nutrition. So anyway, always in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, this is all good, but this still doesn't address, it doesn't talk about life completely it, it talks about, it's, first of all, the audience is rich people. Always rich people that can pay for their seminars. And number two, they always talk about love. Number three, they never, ever talk about any kind of injustice, exploitation. And I could list many other things, but any hell that's in the world, they never ever talk about that and they never talk about the people that create that hell never so you get brainwashed that you know it's a wonderful world if I can just vibrate on this frequency and that's a lie it's a good lie it's a part true. What they're saying is true. But they're leaving out the ugliness. Here comes Bobby Hennett. Now, ha I don't remember what day it was. 
I don't remember how. I was just surfing the net. I probably was looking up something on Islam. Really. Something on, um, what's the guy's name? Farrakhan or something like that. And I saw one of Bobby Hammond's videos. From that point, totally binged on every single video this guy has ever made. And we're talking two and three hour videos. And I understood everything he said. I didn't have like, I wasn't, there was no resistance. And what he said uh, was like, more to know, there's more to know. What he said was, I wasn't shocked by it. I was just like, you know what? Finally, someone's uh, explaining how this universe actually operates, including the black people, basically. You know, this guy is addressing the injustice and telling you why the fuck it is that way. So, that is my introduction. That is my introduction to this attempt to make a podcast or something, because what Bobby Hemet says is the only thing that matters. And it's not about Bobby Hemet, it's the what he the the knowledge, the truth. It's the only thing that matters in this world. Honest honest to goodness, what he says is the only thing that matters. The he he slices through every guru, every philosophy, every every um, new age thinking. He slices through all of that because it's more than a feel good we are the world, think positive. No, there's another side of that that is exploitation, uh, suppression, murder, thievery, and that's a nice word. All these words are, are nice words. The, the real words, you can't even, there's no word for it. The word that you would say is not the correct word. You want to say evil? No. You want to say the devil? No. The devil is not even what you think the devil is. There isn't, I'm not going to say what the devil is, but... If your definition of devil is what is the status quo definition, these people are 1,000 times monstrous, more monstrous than the so-called devil. But Everyone's under a delusion. They are actually under a spell to not see it. Anyway, even I was under a spell, thinking everyone's everyone, people are nice, there's good and bad people. And and the reason why I could be like that is, number one, I live that life. Number two, I didn't know the history, the raw history. And I don't even have to say raw history. I didn't know the history of these other people. And my mom and dad never talked about it. Never. And they lived it. So what people do for pain, they ignore the pain and they pretend everything's okay. 
And that is what black people do. They ignore the pain and they think they just want to keep going like everything's okay. Um, so anyway, Bobby Hemet, I call him Uncle Bobby. Because uh, just he he should be like an uncle to me because he is the black American that is the wisest and he is a spiritual uncle that lived as a pauper lived poor lived unknown lived actually like Jesus and no I'm not saying that he is a perfect being like the fake Jesus is purported to be I'm just saying this man went from city to city only on the strength of people giving him money and and him not living a typical salary job that keeps you in one place and keeps you dead and keeps you not learning. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, that is the beginning of many more to come of podcast that say what I learned from Bobby Hemet. This is the only thing in this world that's worth anything at all. It's the only knowledge that is worth anything at all. It's the only thing that you should learn in life. Honestly, what this what this man has shared is the only thing that matters. And let's say you don't understand it. Thankfully, the universe recognizes you. The universe is going to recognize you anyway, even if you don't get what he's saying. As a black person, the universe is going to recognize you. It's not because you're enlightened. It's because your essence is from the universe, so it has to recognize you. Welcome to <laughs> maybe the first episode of Bobby Hemet Revisited.